Yeah, I, I started out, my first class action was for that company I mentioned, Biomed. It was a class action many years ago about the propriety of using titanium in hip implants. And uh, this is back when titanium was first being used. I was on the defense side then, tried that, won it. When I started doing plaintiff's work, uh, Judge Burge and I came up with the idea of why couldn't we bring a bad faith case in a class action setting? And so we tried that, succeeded, and <clears throat> have a published opinion from the Oklahoma Supreme Court on it, actually. And Judge Burridge has a lot of cases pending now and has settled a bunch of them where we represent royalty owners, oil and gas royalty owners who have been underpaid or overcharged in their royalty fees. So we're doing a good, a good deal of class actions now. Uh, they've been portrayed in the media and in the press as cases where people just get nothing and the lawyers get all the money. That's, that's not accurate at all. We've never done a coupon settlement ever. Our clients, uh, if they are successful in settling or winning the case, they get real money. These are always complex. They always take a long time. But the reason we have class actions, this is the reason. There are companies in this uh, country today that have learned if you will cheat people a relatively small amount of money, you can kind of go under the radar and people won't fight you because it's a relatively small amount of money. But it's the same kind of systemic cheating across the board. So you're not just cheating one person, you're cheating tens of thousands of people. And the goal of these companies is that nobody will want to fight City Hall and swim upstream that hard for a relatively small amount of money. But the companies are, overall, they're cheating tens of millions of dollars. In some cases, hundreds of millions of dollars. A class action is the best remedy because you can try one person's case and that case will dispose of of the case for all of the people who are similarly situated. It is a device that's been incorporated in the statutes, both at the federal and the state level for a long time. And when it's used appropriately, it's a wonderful tool. There's no substitute for it. And it's the only way some people who get cheated these small amounts of money can ever recover.